Swanson. I'm Liz Brown Swanson, and thanks for joining me for this special RPV TV report. I'm at the Point Vicente Interpretive Center. You are joining me at the very first annual fundraising marathon called the Run for Miles. It's a 5K, 10K, and family run. The fun's about to begin. We're going to join it to find out what's going on all during our city's 50th anniversary weekend. Jill, congratulations on putting the first annual Run for Miles together in our city. Uh, tell us about what went into putting this together, the fact that this is honoring your late husband, Miles. So we came up with this idea. We, we did want to honor him. He was very loved Palos Verdes um, so much. He always wanted to live here. He did the marathons here for 20 years straight in a row. He's done 63 marathons total, including Boston. He's done two, two Ironmans, um, plus many other you know, accomplished fitness um, competitions. And uh, but PV was always his favorite. And so when we wanted to do something for him, we thought it'd be amazing if we could put together a five and 10K and some kind of a race that would honor him in the area that he loved more than anywhere in the world. And so we brought it up to this somebody in the city, David Bradley, who helped us um, meet with the city. And after months and months of meeting and talking about it, we finally, they finally gave us an approval. And so it took almost a year to really put this together. And once they approved it, we started making plans and we decided that it'd be really wonderful to celebrate it on the day of their 50th celebration and the 50th anniversary of Rancho Palos Verdes. It would be a perfect way to honor both the city and Miles. And we wanted to get back to the city, so we wanted to do pro have the proceeds go back to the trails and parks and all the beautify, you know, beautifying the city of RPV. So all of the proceeds will be going back to the city. That's what he would want and that's what we wanted. Um, so for us, it's all our families and front, you know, friends are here to celebrate him. And we hope that this will be an annual event and that we can continue to do this and celebration of him and the city of RPV. Give us a little scene setter here. People are registering at the moment about how this day is going to play out and your vision. And, and then, of course, what this means to you to be doing this right now. So first it took a village to do this. We had so many people helping us put this together. We had, you know, tremendous amount of volunteer people that we knew and family friends and just people that came together. It also brought together community people, people that we haven't talked to and, and newly people we just met that it just really brought everyone together as a community, which means so much to us as well. Um, for today, we have people that are um, register have been registering for a while. We've had this open and then today's Day, day registrations. We have a 5K um, and a 10K. 10K starts at 8, 5K at 8.15. We have a, fa a kitty run um, just for kids, just a little quick run. Um, after this event, we're doing our celebration and we have food trucks here. We have special people that came here um, and donating their time to help us have a special day. So we're going to be doing the race and celebrating as well. And going forward, I know there was a website, runformiles.com. Will that still stay up? Is there a way people continue to donate, stay involved with what you do in Miles' memory? Yes, yeah, so we've started a nonprofit. Run for Miles is a nonprofit, and the website will be up. And it will, you will be able to donate, and that will be continuous. We will leave that up there. Um, we will have just updates all the time, and we hope that we will be very involved in the community going forward. Councilmember Dave Bradley, you helped put this together, and you are in it to win it. Absolutely. So this is so exciting to have the first annual Race for Miles. At the same time, we're having our 50th anniversary for the founding of the city. Um, I met Jill Helms uh, about five, six years ago. Uh, unfortunately, she lost her husband, Mile Helms. Uh, but this is an amazing tribute to him who has run the PV Marathon numerous times, huge runner here in the hills, um, just as a great way to honor Miles as well as honor the city and combine the first annual Run for Miles with the city's 50th anniversary. Our anniversary, you know, this is great. I mean, having an event like this, and, and just so everyone knows, this is my first 5K, so when I cross the finish line, there's not going to be a yellow tape in front of my chest, um, but I just will be happy to finish. This is awesome that we're here today, a 5K, 10K race, and actually a 1K race as well for the kids, so it's a great way to bring the community back out on a beautiful September day. We're being joined by another member of Team City Council, Council Member Paul Sayo. You're going to get out there and enjoy the 10K or 5K? I'm doing the 10K. I don't know if that was a mistake, though. <laughs> Your thoughts on this event coming together, the first annual Run for Miles? I think it's very important to commemorate someone who's a running enthusiast. And just seeing the, the show off 
now uh, of, of how many people are coming out so far. I think we're supposed to be expecting around 300 people. So I'm expecting a good turnout for the first annual and hopefully we can commemorate it by doing it annually. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I don't know if the other city council members are. They should be running 10K with me instead of the five, but uh, I think we should have a good turnout and hopefully a great race. I'm just wondering who's going to have a better time, you're the city manager. I think the city manager is going to have a better time. <laughs> Any other thoughts you want to share? I mean, this is what it's all about in our PV community coming together, especially on our anniversary weekend. So, as you know, it's the birthday of our city, and having events like this bring the community out to show them that we do exist, uh, that we do serve them, and commemorating something important I think is a beautiful thing, and I think we should continue to do it. Uh, the more we're out here, the more people see us, they, and they, they know that we serve them. I think it's a good thing. And hopefully we can continue to do a community activities that bring people together to show them that our city cares about them and, and what we do and how we do it. All right, well, good luck out there on the course. we got great weather for the day, right? Yes, we do. Okay. This is so exciting on our anniversary weekend to be with RPV's city manager, Arm Iranian, who helped coordinate this, and he is an awesome runner. Going for the 10K. Tell us I about going for all the of the excitement. No, I'm very excited. This is uh, for the city. This is our first hosted race. So, and it's something I've been wanting to do here at the city for years. It's just such a beautiful course. And there's always been the Palos Verdes Marathon, which is actually the first marathon in the United States right before the Boston Marathon. And so I was always like, oh, we should, we should have something here and it benefiting the community. And this opportunity came in front of us several months ago and I we, we thought what a great way to kick off the celebration of today with our gala for our 50th anniversary with that race in the morning and then a black tie event in the evening. And you said kick off this event. Your feet are going to be kicking today. You are a runner. What What's your goal? I don't know. I'm, know I'm a I'm a leisure runner. I like to do it just for mental sanity and, and, and um, just for clarity, I just want to finish. I just want to cross that finish line. <laughs> All right. I'm now being joined by Miles Helm, brother Mark. A very special occasion, remembering your brother. Talks about your brother and just what this means to you to be here today. He ran the Palos Verdes Marathon 20 times broke three hours many times in that race and early on in the 70s when we first started running that race he said you know I'd really like to live here and somewhere in the early 90s it actually happened and he lived here until he died last year and he loved it here absolutely um, it doesn't take much to figure it out if you look around but uh, and he ran here every morning and uh, just was uh, he, he knew pretty much everyone that ran in this community too and uh, it's it's really something to see people coming out and doing a run that's got him somehow attached to it yeah, just a great great thing we're going to be joined by a rancho palos verdes family you just moved here you're participating in the first annual run for miles tell us about you know your decision to come join and why you're here today yeah we just i mean we love everything about pv we love the parks over here so we're excited to be here supporting the parks so tell us about your team you've got yeah. Okay, so we've got Michael, he's our 11-year-old, and we've got Pierce, he's our 9-year-old, and then we have Theo, he's our almost 7-year-old, and Drew is our 4-year-old, and I won't tell you how old Dad is. <laughs> and so, do you guys get out and like to exercise along the coast here? Anyway, you got a beautiful area. We do. We're so lucky because our neighborhood has a little path down to Albalone Cove, so we can hike down the path, and we like to enjoy PV as, you know, as much as we can. So. Are you guys excited to go walk? You're going to walk in a mile? And I guess you're all going to come in at the same time, right? Cross the finish line together. Well, I'm coming in first. I'm coming in first, no doubt. Three, two, one. This is so exciting to be with the very first place winner that crossed the finish line at this run for miles. How are you feeling? I feel amazing. Such a beautiful day, great company. A lot of these folks I haven't seen since high school. So, so great to be out here and celebrate an absolute legend. You, you're friends with the Helm family. Talk about that and what this means for you to be here. Oh yeah, they've been, since I've met them, the warmest family ever. Um, everyone in the family, the brothers, Jill, of course, Miles. Most of, one of the most amazing families I've ever grown up with. Talk about your race today when you were out there. You said this is your first time running in Rancho Palos Verdes. It is, yeah. I'm actually kind of first time running a race in a long time, but I kind of felt 
uh, motivated by the, the occasion and just being with old friends. So I trained for a couple of weeks and had a great race. And what was your time? I think it was 19, uh, maybe 1908. Yeah. Amazing. So. Well, thank you for participating in our community uh, fundraiser as well. And uh, any message you want to have for anybody watching this today, takeaways from an occasion like this? Um, you know, we live such a beautiful life. I think just be grateful for every single day. And uh, yeah, just, just so happy to be out here celebrating with great people. This idea was conceived about a year ago. It was really spearheaded by my mother, Jill Helm. She worked tirelessly um, with the city of Rancho Palos Verdes to put on this event honoring my father. He um, was a Palos Verdes resident and avid endurance athlete. And we felt that this would be the absolute best way to honor him, to organize a race, you know, an event promoting fitness um, to honor his legacy. And you must have felt him out there all along the way. What a beautiful day to run. Absolutely. There were some hard moments on that course. It's a pretty hilly course, but I kept thinking about my father. He would say, don't give up now. You cannot walk. You have to run to the finish line. And that's what I did. Well, congratulations on finishing. And thanks for giving back to the community. This is a fundraiser for yes. our city's recreation and parks trail. You grew up here. Do you enjoy the trails? More than anything. And my father did as well. He's brought him. This whole peninsula brought my father immense joy. It was his dream to live here. He made that dream a reality. And for our family to give back in this way would have meant the world to him. This is the party continuing here at Run for Miles. We got Rachel. How you feeling? Feeling great. Happy to be here. Excited to be here. What was it like? You walked today. I did walk it. It was lovely out. Very hot, but they had water for us. It was fantastic. You said you work with Kyle, a member of the family. I work with Kyle and Connor, yeah. So what did it mean to you to be participating in an event like this? M meant a lot. We worked with Miles. He worked for us for a while as well. So it definitely means a lot to be here and supporting Miles and Paul's Grace. What did you enjoy about this course? Is it your first time out here in Rancho Palos Verdes? I've been here once before. We've done a lighthouse. It's beautiful. You have the ocean basically the entire way, so I can't complain once on the walk. I'm talking with the Bra family. You were just participating in our first single 5K, 10K. How'd it go out there for you both? I made it. I finished it. <laughs> just had fun. It was great. Loved it. Yeah, love everything the city does here. Well, you're both our PV residents. You said 20 years. This is the first annual, and hopefully there'll be many more. Yes. It's our city's anniversary weekend. What do you love about this community and being part of it? Honestly, I like the outdoor spaces. The fact that I can walk out of my house and go on a trail and silence. Love running the trails. Love the people, the community. It's just, it makes you feel at home. We're now joining part of our open space management team. Um, thanks for being here on this first annual Run for Miles. What have you been sharing with the community about our city's parks and trails? Well, the, the big thing is that our parks and trails are a really amazing open space resource um, for all of the people in the community to enjoy, whether they're walking their dog, whether they're using mountain bikes, um, or they're just hiking. So, yeah. Your thoughts of being part of the city, you you grew up here, um, and this is of course benefiting our city's Rec and Parks Department. You're, what do you think about what happened here today? Well yeah, it's a really good event because it's for a great cause to show homage to, to loved ones that are lost, and um, I, I've been to several races like this in the past for loved ones in my community. I've grown up in the city. It's beautiful that we that we are able to enjoy and cherish the great city that we live in and, and uh, show respect and, and heritage to the city we live in. I'm now being joined by Jennifer, who participated in today's event, and now you're at the silent auction table bidding on something from Terranea. Yes, actually, two things from Terranea. It would be three, but I'm not a golfer, so. So what are you bidding on? Uh, a day at the spa for two, and also dinner at Catalina Kitchen. We love that Terranea is participating by donating these items. You've been to the resort, you love it? Lots of times, yes. What did you think about this event? You said you walked today. I walked the 5K today. It's my very first 5K race, uh, but I know Jill and New Miles, and so it was nice to be able to be here and support the Helms family. Excellent. Well, this is a special weekend in RPV, 50th anniversary. How do you get out and enjoy our city's um, open space? I, I mean, on a day like today, how can you not be outside enjoying the weather? We've got the beautiful ocean breeze, and it doesn't get any better than this. Oh, wow, that was amazing. I just ran my first 5K, John Crookshank Mare Pro Tem. Um, what a race. Uh, I did cross the finish line first. Of course, I'm only running the 5K, and our city manager and one of our council members, Paul Seo, they're running the 10K. So I said goodbye to them as they ran the second half of their race. But what an amazing day. We had so much fun in Rancho Palos Verdes.
So we had our city council, three people from our city council come out. Myself, Dave Bradley, and John Kuchin. A city manager joined us as well. And uh, we had a game plan going out. It worked very well. Uh, two of the council members did the 5K. Myself and the city manager did the 10K. The plan was working great until about the turnaround until I saw a hill and I started to lose the gas. But I made it, so it was overall a great event. I'm glad to be here. Hopefully we can do it every year, and we love you all. Thank you very much. This is council member Dave Bradley at the finish of the Run for Miles here in Rancho Palos Verdes. A great day and a great race. I'm excited that I just finished my uh, first 5K in 35 years. I haven't ran a 5K since college. Um, it didn't kill me. Um, and what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? So, no, a beautiful day uh, for the first annual Run for Miles um, on the weekend of the birthday of the 50th anniversary of the founding of Rancho Palos Verdes. Couldn't be a beautiful, more beautiful day. The folks that came out, I think, are having a great time. A great race course and a phenomenal job by the LA County uh, Sheriff's Department uh, with the race um, officiating. I am trying to hydrate myself. I just finished the 10.2 uh, K, which is a 10 K, a 10 K race, all benefiting the city of Rancho Palos Verdes in tribute of Miles Helm. So what a great way um, to kick off today our, our 50th anniversary gala. And you know, while I was running the course, I, I was passing a lot of people I know and just the the um, the excitement and all the cheer and I thought what better way that exudes community like a race like this bringing people together and and benefiting uh, a community. If Miles was here, what would he be saying and what do you think his message would be to the people all being here today? This would be mean more to him than anything in the world. He'd be, we know he's here and we feel him and he's, you know, just smiling and so happy to have this happening in honor of him and a place that, you know, we've cherished and, and, and he's, this, this on the shirts that we have made, um, this race, this is um, from a race that he did in RPV. So we took this actually off of one of his race pictures. Is there anything else you want to add? Just that we just want everyone to enjoy the beauty of RPV, respect it, enjoy it. We are going to give back and, and as much as we can and try to help keep things, you know, here and and have things that um, continue what he loved and that was being able to enjoy the outdoors here and, and, and just the community itself. Everyone has come together. The city has been amazing, you know, working with us and helping us and just making it really easy to put this together. We're going to wrap this report up at the finish line. What an incredible event today. For more information, you can go to runformiles.com. Thanks for joining us here on the city's 50th anniversary weekend. I'm Luz Brown Swanson. See you next time.